one, I'm Local 5 Chief Meteorologist Brad Edwards. Welcome to the Weather Lab. We are talking about precipitation type because in the winter we get all kinds of precipitation. But what's really interesting is it usually starts off as snow because the atmosphere gets colder with height. So the higher you go generally, the colder it gets. And up inside the cloud, it is below freezing. And that is why most rain actually starts as snow. That's true even in the summertime. And then the lower levels is what determines the type of precipitation that we get. So let's break it down here. We'll start with this column of air and talk about what type of precipitation you would get. So with rain, it starts as snow and it falls down into the atmosphere. And as it gets closer to the earth, if we've got warm air there, it changes to rain. Of course, that happens a lot of the time through spring, fall and summer. But in the winter, we start to get colder air at the lower levels. So we start to see different types of precipitation. So this is what happens when you get freezing rain. It starts as snow and then it melts in this little layer right here. It's a warm layer in the atmosphere above our heads and then right down near the surface, maybe the last thousand feet, it's below freezing or even shallower air than that. So that cold air near the surface makes it for freezing rain. It touches the surface and freezes on contact in many areas. It could be trees, could be roads and bridges, things like that. And then the other type of precipitation well, it's sleet, which is kind of like a, an interesting thing too, because it is falling as snow. It melts, but it refreezes on the way down. So that air near the surface is below freezing and it's a thicker column or a thicker area of cold air below freezing. So it freezes on the way down. And then finally, what you can get is just plain old snow. And that's when the snow falls and it's below 32 all the way down. There's no melting going on, no refreezing, and that's just good old fashioned snow. So hope that explains how you get your precipitation types and you can find all this information and more information on weather explainers at the local five weather lab on YouTube and we are Iowa.com.